YouTube family, my junk family, what up, though? It's Mr. AMG. Man, I'm chilling, man, chilling. Today was productive, man, productive, man. The load and go, the load and go, man. That's the only way to go right this minute, man. You know, for those who don't know about the load and go, let me tell you, man. Been getting a lot of phone calls from people, man, who want to rent a dumpster um, basically just for one day. So I'm giving them a premium rate for renting for one day, all right? Because I get my dumpster back, and the quicker I get my dumpster back, the quicker I can get it to somebody else, all right? Versus it being spaced out over a period of time. Now, on the load and go side, what I'm liking is some people find out that they really only need it for about an hour, maybe two, you know? Hey, I don't have much going on, man, but to get to the money, all right? So why not just sit there with my dumpster while they fill it up? You feel me? Not only does it help me because I can't get out and take, partake in that action right there, which I would love to do, but, um, you know, it helps them out because, you know, they got somebody pulling up, they loading it in, I'm saving them some money versus them keeping it longer than they need it for on top of that. A lot of customers are complaining that renting dumpsters are causing some neighbors and people just to randomly throw their junk into it, you know, and then they're the ones getting hit with the late fee. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, the load and go is working, man. I love the dumpster rental. I love junk removal. I love all this right here, man. So I'm just looking at better ways to market my business, and I want you to do the same thing, you know, with yours, all right? Get yourself out there and get to it. So, uh, just got off the phone, man, with my peoples, man, from Nashville, Tennessee, man. You feel me? Triple OG salute, man. Again, man. Um, you know, we chop it, we talk, man. And, you know, he put a little idea in my head, man. Something that had been laying dormant, you feel me? But, uh, he woke it up. So I wanted to speak on it. And I hope that, you know, I can break this down a little bit clearly for everybody, man. All right. So, uh, you know, definitely do me a favor, man. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, drop a comment, more importantly, man. Don't got to do it in that order. Just do it for me. I really appreciate it. All right, so uh, this is my script. Um, you might have to rewind this video a few times if you want to incorporate it in yours. Um, also, I'm curious to know what type of scripts you're using. So uh, drop a comment. You can pretty much type it out in Notepad, copy it and paste it in the comment section man not only for myself man but for everybody else out there that's viewing this video man you know this community right here you know i want everybody to take something home with them after watching one of these videos all right so uh leave a comment you know we love reading them comments man so drop some gems down there man for the newbies and you know some people who are already doing it but who might not be aware of it all right so this is basically how i go and uh I want y'all to follow along with me, man, because see, answering your phone, I preach about this a lot of time, man, answering your phone, answering your messages, man, no matter what time of day it is, man, is very important, especially when you're getting started. The big companies can afford to take them days off. You can't, all right, man, you can't, I can't, all right? If you're watching this channel, neither one of us can do that, all right? So, dumpster rental fred speaking it might be junk removal fred speaking however i'm feeling that day all right get back to the phone call though fred speaking how may i help you customer on the other end yo i want to know how much is a dumpster rental um what the going rates are and how soon can i get one okay can you tell me where you're located can you tell me what type of debris you're looking to dispose of and can you tell me how long you're looking to have a rental? Boom. Right there, I got them locked in because now I'm giving them some questions, all right, for them to really analyze real quick so I can get a better understanding of what's going on, okay? Well, I'm located at 543 Come On and Get This Money Avenue. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, and I only need it for a day or two. Because I know you got other things to do. You feel me? All right. So, basically, I pick up the phone. AMG Junk Removal Dumpster Rental. Fred speaking. You know what I mean? Fred speaking. How may I help you? Go into it. We get into it about where they located. That's the number one thing. I want to know where you're located at. Because I don't know where you found my ad at. Okay? Or who recommended you to me. 
All right. I want to know what type of debris are going inside of my dumpster because that's very important because I do have a list of forbidden items that I am not currently accepting at the moment. OK, and also I want to know how long you need the dumpster for because see right there will break down exactly how much I'm willing to accept for letting you use my dumpster. All right. So pretty much that's what I do, man. And um, now that I got them on the phone and I got that information, we go from there. Now, here is the, 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 the prime about this, man. Here's the sauce in which you need to know when it comes to closing these deals. I know everybody want to know how do you close these deals? Because, you know, I didn't talk to so many people. You know, and like I say, out of out of five people that make text me or call me, I'm looking to close three of them jobs, man. You feel me? That's the ratio I'm looking for. All right. Um, nothing less than that. So when it comes to closing the job, now this is where you got to be a salesman. You feel me? Because everybody don't have the gift to gap. All right. Some of us are just born with it. We're natural talkers, just like it's people who hoop, it's people who sing. Some people are just born with these things. Okay. You have to have that gift to gab. If you don't have it, you need to practice on it. All right. It's all about being a salesman. There are some salesmen that will sell a well some water. I mean, that is what it is. And I believe I'm one of them salesmen that can sell a well some water. All right. So closing the deal basically for myself just come down to me making them feel comfortable, showing my personality, you know, um, depending on the situation I'm in, if it's through a text message. If it's over the phone, it's way easier because personalities can come off, you know, so many different ways through uh, typing. You know what I mean? People might not get that sense of humor or whatnot. You know, I'm, I love the face to face confrontation or I'm old school. I love the actual talk on the phone, you know. So if you like to talk on the phone, you know, you just want to disarm a customer and let them know why they should choose you. One of the selling points for myself is the fact that my dumpsters are sitting on rubber tires their driveway friendly okay unlike the competition who have roll-offs that might just pull up and they might just affect your driveway you might you know the customer might have some cobblestone you know some limestone or whatever the case may be and they don't want that messed up because not everybody you know looks at a driveway or looks at somebody else's property as their own you know um i know firsthand I done seen guys who pull up with roll-offs, man, and they just drop them down and slam them down. And next thing you know, there's a chunk out of some cobblestone, limestone, which is really expensive, or somebody who has an asphalt driveway. And if y'all know about asphalt driveways, asphalt driveways are very, very uh, sensitive to weight and just things going on with it, okay? Especially if you just had it poured not too long ago or whatever the case may be, all right? So selling points are something you want to reel the customer in which is something that you should be able to close on let them know why they should choose you okay i'm reliable i have five star ratings you can go check it out okay you know what else my dumpsters are high size unlike most people some people just have dumpsters or dump trailers you know what i mean and they have maybe a two foot wall up Okay, I have a five foot wall, you know, for my dumpster. So you have to look at the selling points, you know, that you want that that will help you close the deal. You know, basically just put yourself in their position. You know, if somebody called you or if you called them, vice versa, what would be the key for you to actually go on with them and purchasing their service? That's pretty much how you close the deal. You got to find out your strong suit when it comes to, hey, what do you offer? And you want to sound confident in it. You don't want to have a scratchy voice. I don't care if you only done it one time or if you ain't never done it for the newbies out there, all right? Sound confident. Sound confident. Sound like you've been doing this, man, for the last 10 years. Well, it ain't nothing to you if you miss out on a few dollars or not because customers will call you bluff sometimes all right you'll give them a price they'll tell you they need to check with the wife or the hubby and they'll get back to you you know and you might panic a little bit and you might send them a price that's probably 30 to 40 dollars cheaper than the initial quote you gave them okay and you're doing that out of a scarcity mindset and i'm telling you this because i've been there and i've done that all right 
I've been there and I've done that. So you don't want to do that. You want to be confident. You want to know that when you put a price out there, this is the price um, that you're willing to accept for the service that you're offering. All right. Don't have a scarcity mindset. You want to have an abundant mindset. Okay. Abundant mindset means that, hey, for everyone that I miss out on, I got two more coming to me that I'm going to make up for. You know what I mean? That's just the way you have to think. All right. But again, being a salesman and closing deals, it's just something that's not for everyone. All right. So don't kick yourself and get mad at yourself for that. You might have a strong suit as far as uh, knowing exactly how to schedule jobs. You know what I mean? And your partner might be better at talking to people to land the jobs. You know, go back and figure out where your weaknesses is, identify your weaknesses, identify your strengths, you know what I mean? And then you move accordingly from there, all right? That's like the best thing that I learned um, from just reading books and watching videos over time when it comes to, you know, selling things, you know what I mean? Because we out here in the market and, and being out here in the market, you know, you, you, you gotta be, you gotta be somebody who know how to swim. If you can't swim, you're going to drown out here. And if you drown, that means you're losing money. All right. So the goal is to swim. The goal is to eat. Sharks eat. You feel me? We got to get out here and we got to get it. You know what I'm saying? Even though I love the dolphins, man, I'm more of a dolphin than a shark. All right. You know, um, personality wise, if I had to pick, uh, you know, a mammal or whatever the case may be, sea creature, <laughs> I don't know, whatever they are, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like at some point in time, man, I plan on editing videos and, you know, trying to make them a little bit more entertaining for y'all, man. But these right here, are just raw, uncut, straight off the dome, man. This is just how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. No editing. You know what I mean? Go back and rewind these videos. And um, I'm pretty sure it's a few gems i dropped somewhere along the way man that you will be able to use man that will help you out man and if i have dropped any gems thus far please drop a comment on that and let me know man if it's something that you picked up on maybe it was something minute you know what i mean it don't always have to be something big you feel me i just like giving back you know the things that i'm learning while i'm here so to recap everything all right when you pick up the phone you want to sound professional AMG junk removal, dumpster rental, Fred speaking. Let the customer tell you what it is they got going on. You get back into it. You want to know the location. You want to know if they got any pics to send. You want to gather as much information as possible, all right, to help you give them a quote. Now, when you give them a quote, let them know that this is a quote, especially if it's junk removal, because there might be bags. It might be shit under tarps in the picture you know nothing about. It might be bowling balls in those garbage bags and that's a lot of weight you don't have any idea so make sure you give them a quote never give them a price set in stone unless you're ready to live and die with that okay because i do that and i'm with that you feel me but uh i try to avoid that by all means all right so get as much information as possible do what you got to do from there you know what i'm saying man and just show up all right a lot of people don't understand man that I believe, you know, 90% of the time it's just showing up ready to work and get it done. The rest of the things going to take care of themselves because the pay is already there if you're showing up and you're about to get busy. All right. So show up, get busy. You know what I'm saying? Let the rest take care of itself, man. Answer that phone. You know, I answer my phone or my messages, man. You know, hey, whenever I get a chance to see it, as soon as it go off, if I got my phone, I'm responding to them more than I'm responding to just Joe Schmo down the street asking me what's going on with my day. All right. It's all about that. Cha ching That's all I want to hear. You feel me? Um, So that's pretty much it, man. My start to finish. You feel me? When it comes to closing deals with the junk removal dumpster rental business. Um, I'm just going to throw this in here too. Just a little tidbit. I have ran across people who tell me they have a lot of property. Um, unfortunately, some of these people I have not seen after the first junk removal job. I did end up giving some of those people a bit of a discount. And I'm not complaining about it at all. 
I just want y'all to learn from my mistakes. Keep in mind that everybody you run across, you're liable not to see them again after that, okay? Um, repeat customers are always welcome and they always are the first ones in line to get some type of discount in my, you know, in my instance, and it should be in yours too. But don't be bamboozled. Don't be fooled by the people who tell you, hey man, I got a lot of properties, man. I'm going to be using you like clockwork, man. You feel me? Uh, can, can you just, uh, I'm thinking my price should be probably like this. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you get swept up under that and you fall for it. Think about it. We're here to sell something. We're not the buyers, okay? So don't buy what other people are selling you, all right? Your goal, your task when you're out here with junk removal dumpster rental is to upsell them, all right? You want to upsell them. Don't become the buyer, all right? So I'm going to check you all out on another video, man. Um, drop them comments, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe, man. And if it's something y'all would like me to touch on, Continue to drop them comments. Let me know, man, because I can't think of everything. You feel me? But I just hope everybody out there getting to it. Stay with it, and I'm going to check you all out on the next video. Peace.